What's up, everybody? I think I'm ready to go. I have no idea. Hopefully you are. Happy Monday. What's up, Latrice? Lions, Apple Jacks, slid in early. Hello, hello. Um, yeah, welcome to the show. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not like, I don't have anything prepared. We're here. Um, yesterday's, you know, not very many people showed up, so just like, eh, little, just a little bit, eh. But I'm still going to draw. So I'll be using Procreate today on the iPad Pro. That's the plan. Uh, maybe a little bit of Fresco as well. And I think I'm going to kick things off with a shoe. I haven't done a shoe in a long time. So I'm feeling a little bit motivated to do a shoe kick off that way. So if you have any product ideas, hit me up with those or other ideas. I'd be happy to uh, jump into those. All right. So let's let's transition over. Special shout out as always to the patrons and fans thank you for your continued support i'm not gonna stop saying it so if you're like oh he's saying it again oh my gosh not gonna stop not gonna stop yes latrice the ones that the ones that counted did show up indeed indeed you know i mean it's it's nice when you know it's nice, it's nice when you got some peeps peeps there all right i'm using my brush kit today let's see do some some ballpoint pen all right so start with some straight lines a warm-up warm-up sauce hello marzi you did circles to warm up. oh they were shameful you know i was teaching my kid um how to draw just a simple face the other day i should mention as well if you're watching on instagram there is a an actual output here so if you want to if you want to watch on your phone that's cool that's on you but i'm just saying that link in the chat youtube.com slash you do get a full presentation with my ipad out so up to you thanks for watching though much appreciated feel free to tune in hey i was teaching my kid how to draw faces so it's like here's how you draw a circle so i taught him to draw with his elbow and not with his wrist so that was that was helpful he actually got way better after that because he was trying to you know draw the circles so i got some fuzz on my pencil there he's trying to draw the circles like this and i was like no don't don't use your well you guys can't see it but i was like don't use your wrist he was doing this you know trying to draw his circles this way i was like nope move your whole arm so that was a that was a cool parenting moment. Got to uh, help him out there a little bit. Also, it certainly helps how you hold your stylus as well. I know some of you didn't tune in yesterday, so I'll give you another sneak peek of what I'm working on. Give you a little little peeky peek, little peeks. Where are we at? Where are we at? All right. After I warm up, I'll, I'll show you guys. Some ellipses here. So yeah, I think I'm. I think I'll do a shoe or maybe some shoes. I don't know. I just felt like doing one today. I don't know what kind. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I usually end up doing some sort of mid or high top urban shoe, but I could do a heel. Maybe do some heels. That would be fun. All right, let's challenge myself a little bit here. Let's uh, let's go ahead and do our series of ellipses. All right, progressively increasing the degree of the ellipse. I guess that doesn't really make sense, but the degree progressively increasing. I guess you could start with, because I haven't actually done this, where you start bigger and then go smaller. This 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 feels weird. So maybe I should try this more. It feels weird because normally, I'll explain in a minute. Yeah, this feels weird, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you why. And if I forget to show you why, remind me, please. Oh, 
All right, let's finish this row. Boom. Okay, so I'll show you why that feels weird. It feels weird because normally, for one, my layer's not hidden, but normally when you're drawing something, at least from the, the perspective of a product designer, no pun intended. All right, no pun intended. Do I prefer Chart Pack or Copic? I prefer Copic. Normally when you're doing a product, um, let's just say you have some two-point perspective thing. Something like this, right? Some shape. Notice you're kind of seeing a little bit of the top, right? But if I actually take this canvas and flip it, right, and I were to draw ellipses on this, you'd have one here, and one here. That feels bigger. So the reason that exercise felt weird is it was almost like inverting my perspective. Hey, Federico, one of our super ultimate mega fans. Thank you for joining. You're awesome. I appreciate your contribution. You're fantastic. Jameson wants to see ideation of a product. I could do that. Is that homework, though? <laughs> you guys know I don't like to do your homework for you, so... Just as long as it's not your homework. I mean, I wouldn't have any way to verify that. All right, so what, what I mean to say is, here, if the perspective, right, or if the object is above the horizon line, then you're going to see a little ellipse. It's almost like this coffee can, or not coffee, this uh, Coke can, right? You can see, you can actually see it here. Right, depending on the relative position of the lid at the top of this to the camera itself, you can see more and more and more and more and more. So it's a circle. So degree of the ellipse, okay. Actually more more appropriately if it is moving relative to the position of the camera, you can see how you can see more or less, depending on where it is. So take some time, look around you. Look around you. There were some hilarious YouTube videos back in the day, but look around you. And uh, a lot of this will will make sense. So same thing here. All right, if I were to platform shoes, that's wild. If I were to uh, draw a box, not wild, it'd, it'd just be different. Like so, and then have the ellipse here and one on the bottom here. Right, end up with something like that. So depending on the relative position, of your object. It's going to determine how wide this ellipse is. Maybe you already knew that, maybe not. Cool beans if you did. But all of this stuff, you know, kind of trickles over into many aspects, I think, anyways, of drawing and visual communication. All right. So I'm going to kick off with no pun intended either. <laughs> a shoe. One of the things I don't like about Procreate is it's it limits the number of layers you can do. So you kind of have to be strategic if you're going to be working on a big file. So if I go to settings, canvas, canvas information, this file I can have, let's see, how many layers? I can do 27 layers, all right? And this is 11 by 17, 300 DPI. Pretty standard print size, A3, 11 by 17, pretty standard. Um, I'll also, I think I'll use Fresco as well today. Um, Fresco is Adobe's drawing app and there are no layer limits. So if you just want to go crazy, you can do as many layers as you want and it saves as a PSD file in the cloud. So I don't even have to worry about backing it up. So that's my pitch. If you like drawing aids, however, Fresco does not have that. A lot of people can't draw an ellipse without, you know, drawing and pausing. So if if that's something you need, go for it. All right. Uh, Apple Jacks is asking for a guide on lighting and shadows would be great if I have time. Um, I know I have videos on my. What you call it <laughs> on my YouTube? I know I do. So. Yeah. 
<clears throat> Let me find that for you. Uh, lighting. Let's see. Yeah, so if you search for light, there's like a bunch of videos here. Um, so I'll, I'll copy and paste and then I think shadow. It's interesting. It only searches. Huh, that's weird. I think it only searches the title of the video. Good to know, I guess. So there's one. Here's another. Because you ask so nicely, but if I if I forget or if there's an opportunity and you're like, hey, explain how you did that, just let me know. And I will be happy to share that. Um, if you wanna just for backup, post these in a Discord, that's totally fine too. We have a Discord going as well. Woomoo shop. What's up, James? How are you doing? Okay, so the request was, well, I was gonna do a shoe first, but I think I'll just do the espresso machine. So um, the first thing I like to do if I'm designing something like new that I've never done before is I actually like to go in and then I'll, I'll just take a look at, I'll take a look at what that thing is. So there's Google espresso machine. You can hit images here, get a sense of what the parts components are so generally speaking let's say we wanted to do something like this delonghi espresso machine right so the first thing i'd want to do is now just kind of rough this in it's like okay let me let me kind of understand the parts here we've got our little i think this is like a it's like a steamer or something i don't even know but I would, I would do more research than obviously just finding the picture, but in terms of just drawing and understanding it, it's like, okay, maybe some sort of control there, base of some sort. Uh, from the side, it looks to be something like so. Some of you have probably seen me do this before, but it looks something like this, right? So pretty simple. And now I can start to ideate, do just a quick, sketch i'm trying to increase the like speed at which i sketch digitally too because i've noticed and i've said this a few times now but notice i'm just kind of slow and i think it's just a matter of like overthinking things we do that sometimes in life don't we um so it's just a matter of overthinking and overdoing things but i'll usually start with oops Wrong button. I pressed the wrong button. You guys weren't seeing the iPad out output. Thank you, Mecca. Music that's playing right now. This is, let's see. It's like a royalty free deal. ASO Chill Hop Essentials Spring 2016. ASO. That's the artist. ASO. I don't want to say it out loud because, you know. Um. <laughs> But thanks, I'm glad you like it. Hello, Wee Bob Art. All right, I'm doing well. Okay, so there's there's one version, right? And I think we had, like you said, this little whatever, whatever it's called. I don't know. You guys tell me. I'm not I'm not an expert at espresso, personally. Right, so let me do let me do just a quick perspective drawing. Uh, let's see, this would not look like that. It would look something more like this, shadow wise. All right, so just real quick, fast, whatever. Okay, so now maybe I'll be a little bit more careful. This is called uh, form divide beautify in terms of process. So I can start to take some liberties in my form. Right, so. I may go, oh, well, what if the front is slightly curved? I could do that. And or maybe it rolls off to the side. I don't know. You get to decide. Around this corner. Maybe, maybe it's a matter of shape. So we could have two ellipses here. Connect those. Come back down. Pull that out. So there's, there's one concept or idea. Now, since you are working digitally, 
if you want to work faster too and just even create a perspective underlay in procreate you can make your selection three finger swipe down and then we'll do a duplicate command so now i have another one of these now we can flip scale it down position it on the page there's another one all right so if you're if you if you do a couple of these um oops i wonder if i can did it copy it i don't think it did let's see um, I don't I don't know what's on the clipboard, so better safe than sorry, children. All right, so three fingers swipe down, and I'm gonna hit duplicate again. We can flip horizontal and maybe place this one down here. Uh, maybe over here, All right? Because I don't want I don't want the page to be the same thing every everywhere. So we can do another sketch maybe another perspective actually i want this to be on a separate layer so let's do our ting ting again i'm going to cut and paste so that's going to put it on a new layer and back to my brush all right so just sometimes it's helpful to just kind of lay things out before you start designing it or there are instances where you already have the idea and you just want to draw that idea that's totally fine too um in my case i don't know what i'm doing it's just i'm just illustrating at least at this point espresso machine ideas so let's just duplicate this as well and flip it flip it and reverse it all right so i've got another concept there all right, so you can kind of lay out a page like that. Maybe if there's something interesting, I'll just kind of keep it in this trapezoid here, but we'll do some different concepts, maybe a couple of quick colors, and then maybe that one we can make um, shiny and shiny and chrome pretty, right? So we can do that there. Um, Wee Bob says, for a big channel like this is really nice to interact with chat and Discord. I try. I'm just trying to build a community. You know, um, interest in the arts in general, I would say, is not as high as interest in entertainment like video games. So will there ever be a mug day? What's a mug day? Um, I mean, I have a mug right here. I have coffee and a Coke Zero. <laughs> No, Mecca, I'm glad you said hi. Um, I, I did send you that note. Hopefully you got it. I was like, first time this dude showed up and was like, gerbil, gerbil. I was like, who is this guy? What's going to happen? And then I was like, this is a cool dude. So you've completely like added to. Mail me the gerbil says I'll get a frame. I thought I did mail it to you, Mecca. Maybe you haven't gotten it yet. Sorry. I can always do another one though. I can always do it again, do another one. All right, so we got some requests for like shadow composition. I think this page would be a good opportunity to talk about some of those things. So not a problem. Um, so in terms of form or shape now, it, it's a matter of like, okay, how am I gonna divide some of these things? I'm gonna go ahead and just combine these layers. So in Procreate, that's a matter of just pinching with your fingers, and then you release. And now the layers are all merged together. So you can do that. Or do it that way, rather. All right? So we can do it that way. Um, this one, perspective's a little bit flat, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and modify. What I mean by that is I want these lines, okay, like so to feel like they're gonna converge at some point way off in the distance, so. All right, if I were doing this, well, not if I were doing it, I am doing it. I think of the best way to do So let's just, for this one in particular. I'm just gonna cut and paste. Now it's on its own layers, so I can two finger tap 
swipe adjust the opacity i was hoping procreate would work on the new macbook m1 but it's not <laughs> it's not all right so right here in terms of form sometimes um and i kind of started to do it here so let's let's just preserve the integrity of this concept all right so building a form language which basically means you can kind of think of it like here's the rationale behind the object right so like this one if i had like a plane that cut through the whole front but both of these were circles right and we have like a transition here what would that look like well it would look something like this Alright, so let's take this layer, lower the opacity again, and then I'll do a nicer sketch on top. Still have to understand the gerbil rooms within the coffee machine. I don't understand either, but that's okay. It's all good. It is all good. Yeah, the Discord's interesting because, you know, as a product designer, I'm inclined to... <laughs> To like product design sketches but at the same time like i love art and i love and you know lines and lines and a few others today were talking about what is art anyways what is art um <laughs> so if you want to join in that discussion you can join in um, on the discord but really really interesting stuff all right i'm going to rotate this canvas let's just get this done but my point in showing you this this arrow was to indicate you know if this has some sort of chamfer for example now I'm cutting through this. You kind of have to think through. Think through the form. So maybe something like that. And then right here, we'd have ellipse, ellipse, ellipse handle lips maybe a sphere where's that handle all right so maybe something like that a little bit finer tip here All right, so the rest of this, right, the rest of the shape would be something like this. So I just essentially cut that off. Now exposing this resultant shape right here. All right, so just as a quick concept, you could kind of shade that in. Maybe we make some changes from the original concept we were borrowing from, at least for the idea and again i have not this is this is not representative of like design in the sense that like i'm considering all the functional cons or functional requirements and whatnot i'm just i'm just illustrating a machine at this point i just want to make that clear because i want to create the impression that this is literally design like i would I would need to take into account who's using it, where are they going to use it, what is that actual use case, because I've never made espresso, so does this actually satisfy the espresso diehard in your life? Does it? So in, in terms of coming up with the form, notice how I've taken these two lines now and, and kind of projected those down, okay? projected those down so that allows me to now kind of rotate and say oh this is a nice intersection point what if we also have a chamfer here to match you know that right there or even better perhaps on the bottom which is kind of hard to see but right there on the bottom we could have that chamfer so it's almost like you've taken a whole form made a cut in it 
It's two lines for, uh, what would you call it? Uh, surface definition lines. Anyhow, it's almost like you've taken a whole shape, made a cut, and now you have the resulting shape. Okay, so a lot of design is like that. And if you can find the rationality in objects, it can make it can make the design process a lot easier. So now I'm like dividing this one. So we have a little base base thing here. Maybe this is where any excess excess drippins. Excess drippins is the name of my alternative bluegrass crossover group. That's a common joke I tell. Some of your friends watching me, so you're like, oh, Spencer again. Espresso drippings coming to you. 2021. So maybe I modify this or something, right? That line just right there. But that's how you kind of like can put together a um, form language, right? Espresso is quite strong, as are you, my friend. The espresso of chat. Um, <laughs> Gray's Anatomy textbook. How long does it take me to design something for someone? Hmm. So I, I usually break things into phases. If I'm quoting a project, so I'll say, okay, here's what you need. In fact, I, I need to... Well, not yet, but I'm going to need to quote something soon here. Kind of in a discussion phase. But how it usually works is I will create an estimate based on the requirement and say, okay, here's how many ideas I can deliver. Okay, and here's the cost associated with that process. Process itself of designing something it really just depends on the complexity of the this is probably not the answer you want but it depends on the complexity of the problem what's been done before in terms of engineering in terms of research okay and then i feel like that ellipse is off but i don't care um and then uh yeah, it's, it's really just a blend of all those things. So complexity of the problem. Um, understanding, you know, the, the customer need, all that stuff. And then when you jump into actually drawing stuff, I would say for me to do a few concepts and refine them, I could, well, when I say a few, I mean like, let's say 10 concepts. I could do 10 concepts and and... When I say concepts, I mean fully like colored out pages and with descriptions and function in about two days. So that's typically what I'll, I mean, I won't, I won't uh, bill it at two days. I'll just be like, yeah, it's going to take take a week to get back to you because you know life happens you don't want to like I feel like I'm taking way too long <laughs> um let's put some excessive fins on because why not um yeah that was that was weird it's not a race car it's not a race car Spencer do you ever feel my lack in knowledge in engineering not for me but maybe for some people I know enough about how products go together that it's never been really a problem for me. I kind of like this part break on this one, so I'm going to use this here and <laughs> just kind of work with these sketch lines. I kind of like that. Maybe have a nice chamfer on this one. So many times you'll also have a brand language, perhaps that you're working with or some other visual to kind of help you come up with your concept. Whereas right now I'm just going from whatever, whatever my head tells me. So this may feel incoherent. But that's because I don't, I don't really have any source material in terms of like, here's what we're trying to do as a brand. Here's the look and feel. Yeah, I don't have that. 
but I have not had that lack of engineering knowledge cause what I would consider to be significant problems. Because here's the thing, you can always ask, you can always ask questions, you can always ask why. It's one of the beautiful things, I guess. Let's continue with the same architecture, so we'll just have a split construction here. Maybe I'll just change the angle on this one. Go for something more, something more geometric. And maybe, maybe this is raised up off the ground a little bit. Could be. A lot of times, too, as a designer, you want to come up with story, right? So what does raising it up off the ground have to do with, with the product? Well, interestingly enough, as a consumer, you probably don't even think about those things. But we do, you're, at least in my experience, I'm not sitting there like, wonder what the designer was thinking yet as a designer you, you labor over those potential perceptions you're like what are people gonna think by this line or this detail and it's like maybe nothing but at least someone's thinking about it At least someone's thinking about it. So yeah, part of the reason I don't use tools, again, I could, if I want to clean this up, draw a curve like this and wait, and then Procreate will give me a shape and I can go, okay, perfect. And then I can draw and wait and then go, okay, perfect. Draw, wait, perfect. Perfect, you win. But I don't know, maybe I'm dumb for not using that, but I like the practice. So that's my, that's my spiel on them tools. I actually have a video on why I don't use tools. If you are curious or interested in that. All right, so maybe something like that. And then let's do one more of these and then I'll just do a quick color. So if you turn this underlay off, oh, not that one. Turn these underlays off, you can kind of see what we're working with here, right? So resketching, but using what we have as a, uh, as a guide. How would it be interesting if we did some sort of primitive cylindrical shape maybe it's two cylinders intersecting at least here one of the downsides of just watching the digital presentation is you don't get to see how my hands move i suppose so i'm going to do that just for a little bit for your benefit for you guys on the tube the YouTube All right so even even here as I'm drawing right I kind of practice and hover the line Thank you, Wee Bob. Jose, what's up? Dude is from Iran. Welcome, bienvenidos. I know that's that's not how you say hello <laughs> there, but
I want to do something different with the base, though. Because I'm all about that base. No trouble. But I just, I, I do this to kind of show you guys an approach here, at least. I'll switch back now. An approach here, at least, to kind of laying out a page. Whether it works for you or not. That's cool. I just... You can usually tell too, like in a portfolio, at least I can, when someone relies too heavily on a tool because all the sketches look dead. I'm just like, yep. Human didn't do that one. Okay, in other useless information, my mustache is tickling me. <laughs> but it's really uncomfortable. Um, some of you, if you follow me on Twitter, you may have seen last night I said, I think I need glasses. I have an embarrassing confession to make. I don't think I need glasses. I think it was my beverage. And I was like... <laughs> Let's just say it was a fun weekend. This one's kind of cool. It's like a little cylindrical thing here. You need to have a control or something on the front, but. Definitely has a retro vibe to it, which is fine, but a primitive vibe as well. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's add some quick color here. Sometimes you can even leave your under sketch up if you want, but I'll, let's see, which one do I want to show? I want to show this one. So let's turn off that one and that one. Okay, perfect. Drag this layer up. Now I'm going to make a new layer. So if you're going to work with tons of layers, again, you want to make sure that you, what happened? Instagram freeze. Oh, I think it's that dumb problem again with my computer. All right, Instagrammers, I cannot see the screen, so I don't even know if the if the um I don't even know if the <laughs> iPad showing anything, so it is what it is. All right, so let's jump to I'm trying to think which brush I want to use today. Which brush? Let's use the real marker. Real marker for real designers. All right, so just a quick color. Gray in here. But again, trying to work on being more deliberate with my sketches. Let's keep it loose. On to the next. Boom. Shadow core. Contact shadow. Just kidding. Contact shadow is too big. Contact shadow. There we go. Boom, on to the next. <laughs> um, so this one I actually wanted to, even though it's not the biggest one on the page, I could I could change it, but I do want to do some some sort of wood, actually. I thought it would be cool. Too saturated. Let's go something like this, yeah. Shadow core, shadow, reduce the brush size, paint on a little edge here. Maybe go a little darker. And 
Then on this top piece, I think I'm going to do just a gray. I didn't really put a control in. Do I have a Udemy course? Um, no, I'm looking at Teachable. And I'm looking, I was talking with some peeps at Skillshare for a bit, but I don't know yet, honestly. I don't know what makes the most sense for me, time-wise, life-wise, brain-power-wise. Got a lot going on, so we'll see. I am working, working up to having some sort of book done that's gonna be just my own personal project but not published like some people just kidding <laughs> but yeah It's all in the same layer. I usually don't work all in the same layer, but I've just been kind of jamming. I think it's because I've been painting more, honestly, in Adobe Fresco, so I've just kind of gotten used to just working on the same layer. Whether that's good or bad, we'll, we'll find out eventually, or I'll find out eventually, maybe the hard way. Alright, that's too big. Just wanna wanna do some sort of wood grain thing here. Some sort of faux faux grain. All right. Can an special espresso machine have wheels? I I guess I don't know. I haven't done like I said. This is just this is just me doing my best interpretation of it. But I wouldn't call it design in the true sense that I'm working with engineers and we've done some sort of research on this project product rather. This is just me. This is just me riffing. So who knows? I suppose if there's like a legit espresso machine designer watching the stream, then we would know. But there's no way to really know. All right, I'm just gonna erase a little bit of, a little bit of some sketchtras, sketch, sketch extra, sketchtra. What brush am I using? I'm using my. This is a brush that I made. It's part of my brush pack. Why are you not working? Some days I swear my iPad hates me. Seriously. Okay. So there's the Sketch a Day Mega Pack 2. It has a bunch of different brushes in here you can play with. So like this Crisp Air, for example, I probably could have used it on the side. Do a nice, nice cool shadow. Or above all the sketch stuff. Some nice highlight stuff if I wanted to. Ooh, it'll, it'll actually look real nice right there. Yeah. It's really subtle, but what you get with that brush is, if you look at it there, you get a nice core and then some fall off. So you can use this to do like highlights and crisp shadow cores. It's pressure sensitive, so I can go light or heavy with it. Just depends on how you use it, right? 
All right, so there's my quick espresso machine page. Let's go back and do another. I'm gonna do a shoe and then I think I'll jump into Fresco for a bit. I just got a reminder that I need to I need to sign up for my insurance. Oh, that's what happened. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I figured out what happened with the Instagram. I hit record. So it was like recording this video the whole time. The whole time. All right. So once again, once again, if you're watching on Instagram, this thing actually pumps out to YouTube. So much better experience. The link is right there. How, did, how long did it take to get comfortable with sketching skills? Um, I think I realized I was okay when I was sketching when I was in my second year. And that's when it really started to click. I didn't come up with this, but I'm going to teach you something. So one of the reasons people get frustrated with drawing. Okay, I did, I did not come up with this. This is from a professor of mine. But one of the reasons people get frustrated with drawing is this. So let's say you start out here. This is your skill. This is time. Okay, might be years, whatever. Could be minutes. I'm just kidding. It's probably whatever measure you want to you want to make. So let's say you start out here and you're plugging along and you're practicing and you get frustrated because you don't feel like your skills are going like that, right? So you get frustrated, but then something magic happens. You hit this point and it's like, boom, everything, everything starts to click. And when everything clicks, you kind of get this boost, this burst of skill. It's like, oh yeah, I can do this. This is a lot easier than it was before. But what inevitably happens is you hit a point where you're like, oh, I, I, I'm not I'm not getting any better right now. The trick is you have to keep practicing over time. You have to keep practicing. You're going to hit another point where you increase in your skill. OK, now I'm not saying or suggesting that in life this is by any means like a, a direct proportion relationship or anything. Maybe you have smaller jumps here and there but what I can tell you is true and I've seen this myself even I, I did a stream a while back where I was like yeah in the last year I've, I feel like I've gotten that much better at certain things but if you hit this point and you're like yeah I'm the business I'm not saving the live streams to Instagram anymore so if you want to catch those check it out on YouTube thank you for watching however um, if you hit this point, I just, I don't like Facebook. Cause if you hit this point and then you don't practice, what happens is you, you drop in skill. Okay. You drop in skill and then you find yourself, you might, you might be better than you were before. And you're like, Oh crap. I got to practice again. So you practice. Right. And so it's kind of like this. It's not that inconsistency is always going to hurt you right this is always gonna hurt you threshold concepts and plateaus pedagogic terms thank you lines <laughs> you're much better than i am at, at words so my point in sharing this with you this nugget of information this is transformative for me because when my professor shared this pedagogy with me <laughs> i it, it just clicked it absolutely clicked and i thought I have to practice. If I want to be as good as my professor was at the time, it's like I have to practice. So every day I would sit there and I'm doing it still today, right? I I got these books. Well, you guys can't see them. I got these books on figure drawing and I know it's better to take a figure drawing class, whatever, I get it, right? I can't do that right now, I'm a single dad. So I have to do what I can and I'm gonna Try and level up my skill, okay? I'm gonna try and level up my skill, even a little bit. 
but I do believe that if you consistently apply yourself over time, you will get better. Okay, these notes will be available to, oops, available to the patrons as always. And apologies, patrons, you probably hate me. I'm behind on uploading, but I will upload. All right. Can you show the same line in design thinking? I suppose. I suppose so. All right. So I was going to do a shoe. And so let's jump back to jump back to my brushes. I'm going to use the rough pencil. All right. So we had a request for some sort of like platform shoe, which is not funny. What if what if platform shoe? Do you, do you guys know what platform shoes are? But what if those like came back, right? You had like just chunky. Some sort of chunky platform here. I'm just, uh, the reason I'm doing the sketch this way and like drawing the sections down is not to suggest the design, although that would, that might be a cool design, um, but rather to make sure that I am somewhat getting this right. But do you guys remember these from back in the day? Is this the like nineties or something? I'm trying to remember when exactly these were a thing. Did they have curved heels as well? I'm trying to remember. Could do some sort of platform. All right, so I'll do, ooh, I saw a cool layout. Um, shout out, hat tip to Mr. Johnny Jensen. He was one year behind me in school. He's so awesome with shoes. He works for Reebok. Um, but he did this really cool layout where you had like the two shoes. That'd be an interesting surface detail, actually. Maybe too masculine. Maybe that's not the right word either. Language is so fluid and I love it. <clears throat> I love it. But one thing I'll always do is I'll apologize if I ever offend anyone. So. Anyhow, but he had this really cool layout, so maybe I'll copy that just for my underlay here. Um, where this shoe is like a little bit behind, let's do a freeform. Freeform, transform, transformers. It's hard to do this too because I almost want to like... So maybe this is like a surface some sort of platform shoe could be cool like I said that design was kind of rad too maybe do something like that so I'll read I'll redo that one but but yeah the re the reason I am not saving on instagram anymore is like facebook's just terrible like i appreciate that i can post there or whatever but they don't allow you to monetize anything they don't really give back to you um they're weird with data so i'm just i'm just kind of over it honestly i've been really into twitter lately so if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, you can. But I've been really into Twitter lately. That's been pretty good. How long do I spend every day sketching? Depends on the day. Last night I was up painting until midnight. So it really just depends. All right, let's do maybe one more view, another platform shoe concept. Chunky. I feel like I feel like uh, Lori would appreciate these. One of our our patrons. Okay, I'll just do this as a side view. Side view platform sports shoe or something. This is kind of cool, actually. 
and then you have this like giant heel. So what I'll probably do here is take this view. So that's my main view. The other two are kind of supporting or additional concepts, but I'll take this, this main view. Oops. And let's do a cut and paste. So it's on its own layer. Yeah, my pencil is acting weird. And I don't know why. Maybe I need a new tip. Hey, Sticky Art, what's up? Have I checked Twitch yet? No. Um, if I have time tonight, I will, but more likely tomorrow on the Twitch thing. So, And if I go on Twitch, it'll be like, I don't know. It, it'll be interesting. <laughs> I just don't know what to expect. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm a little bit apprehensive about which just because it's kind of different you know i don't i don't know the lingo and i know there's a totally different culture and language and everything with how those streams are run and how they do things so we'll see all right so i'm just going to do a little warp here on the sketch kind of Give it some, oops, give it some, what is that? Move to back. I had no idea you could do that. All right, cool. Learn something new every day. You learn something new every day, children. All right, so now I've got my underlay. Got this other sketch right there. Can always move this out of the way if I want to. All right, so we can move it out of the way for now. And then let's focus on this selection. So I think I'll do this. I got to figure out, the carry says, we will, we will educate you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll post about it. Um, PogChamp chats. See, I don't even know what you're talking about. <laughs> No idea what you're saying. It's like a completely different, different language. Like Pog champs? Is that like some creature? What is that? I mean, I watch a guy play chess and he's mentioned it, but I've never watched Pog champs, so I I don't even know what it is. What is that? It's kind of fun. Thank you for the suggestion, Mozzie. I don't know if you're still watching. Maybe, maybe not, but it's all good. I feel like this would still be a little bit bigger in the back, but... Maybe I'll fudge it. The challenge is I really like that line, but I also like that line. And I don't want them to necessarily meet up properly. <laughs> so I'm going to cheat. There, I cheated. Boom! I cheated. Alright, I do like this kind of... So it's barring a bit from... There's this new trend in car design where they'll take like a surface. Like say this is a... This is all flat, right? say that's all flat there's a new trend where they'll take a surface in like so still from the flat and then they'll just like round this down and then you have this like you know if this were an intake on a car for example you have it like coming in like so i shouldn't really say new trend and i'm not really representing it's more like if the surface were like pinched in a way up to this line it's kind of interesting i wonder if i could borrow from kind of from that approach 
and create this detail. So let's see. Would I be able to do a sketch training day? Yes. Yeah, so I've considered doing like a workshop, a paid workshop or starting to do those where it's more like a class format. People would sign up. Oh, hey, Mars, you're still here. People would sign up and, um, you know, we spend like a whole Saturday together. Okay. And we go over specific concepts or topics. So like a storyboarding or it could be design ideation workshop it could be an illustration workshop so that's that's something i've considered doing we'll see if i see if i get to that point or not but uh that was a thought for 2020 just to do something a little different I don't want to carry this lineup, but I also want this like chunky, chunky heel thing. And then the surface that like fans back out. So now if we turn off, oops, the underlay, maybe something like that. It definitely has like a 90s Doc Martin vibe meets, I don't know, some sort of knit, knit approach. All right, I'm gonna try and swing some lines. So this is another technique I use if I'm trying to make sense of form. I guess I don't really talk about design and <clears throat> form and all that. Um, oh, Lines says that would be, okay, maybe I'll run some ideas about you, Lines. I think for you, for sure, you you would just I would I would have you in there. Don't even worry about anything. But uh, maybe I'll run some ideas by you and see what you think. Um, just on the Discord, okay? So I wanted 2020 where I feel comfortable with my sketches, but I haven't progressed. Yeah, it's you know it's just consistency, I think. Oh yeah, rough stencil. Boom. Okay, so sometimes what I'll do when I'm designing something, where was I? Don't need that line, okay. Undo. Okay, you're gone. Sometimes all I'll do is just swing lines, okay, because there's there's what you call a, an implied line sometimes. So if I have an element at the top of the shoe that goes like this, and then like this, but there's no line here, right the imp the implied line is right there and that helps it feel well not even that but more so <clears throat> there right the implied line is between all that so it's like oh visually this kind of makes sense it's a bit harder with things like car design and shoe design because depending on where you are relative to the shoe so if this is the center of the shoe depending on where you are relative to this position you're going to see an entirely different angle so i'm trying to think of a car so the audi r8 for example if you look at an audi r8 they have that really distinct carbon fiber thing on the side right this is my stupid audi sketch so they have this this element on the side of the car and depending on how you look at the car that either works or it looks completely ridiculous and I think that's like even on the Cybertruck, there's certain angles of the Cybertruck that are just uh, to, to steal lines word here, ace. <laughs> They're just like, whoa, OK, that that looks interesting or sinister or whatever adjective they wanted to assign to the design. But then you like walk around at a different point from the back and you're like, oh, what is that? All right, so relative position. On your design can matter all right i feel like i'm going in i'm getting in the weeds but this is one way for example if you decided oh what if we had a shape like that and then we could you know have another one like that maybe there's an opportunity for some interesting 
material stuff to happen here. Okay. Or maybe we do get rid of this line. And now you have that shape, okay, that element that would continue over, but we don't. Or maybe this is slightly rounded. So you could do, maybe that's slightly rounded and then you have, it's, you have a seam. Because this would need to be, would likely need to be two different materials, I think. It depends on, depends on the pattern and what they can come up with. But in any case, that's how you or one method anyways of creating an implied line to help your design feel right now functionally speaking i wouldn't really be able to get the shoe on unless there's some break so i might have a break here because this would need to stretch right so i'd need to be able to stretch to get my foot or marzi's foot in since it's her shoe into the shoe so that's why on a lot of these uppers where you do have these, you know, bold panels. You may have a mid piece that actually looks kind of cool. So I think I'm going to keep that now, right? So there's a there's a functional benefit to having that shape. So we can go ahead and, pardon me, we can go ahead and erase here, right? So there's a bit of at least the the magic of the aesthetics behind a design, but also functionally speaking. Like I was saying, if if that material stretches, right? If this were actually, if you could see both sides, these materials would stretch, thus allowing foot to enter. Okay. So hopefully you learned a little something, a little something, something. Um, so then on the front here, you know, I could. Have a different material maybe maybe we do want either a different material or some sort of break because down the back of the shoe there's likely a seam okay here's gonna be a seam so this is like part one you're gonna have one and two and then three right here four pieces right so and I'm not an expert on shoes, but I can think through the manufacturing of products. And so I feel like in many cases, that's enough to kind of help you approach something. All right. I decide if I want to do, yeah, I'll do a slight secondary line here. Again, if you want to take your time, you could go like this. Uh, Procreate will have you figure it out. You can even edit the shape, pull your points. Right, commit to that. Get your next perfect, perfect line. Some people do that, I do not. But you could do that, right? See how much time that took? So I don't like to do it, <clears throat> but you could. So hopefully you learned a, a little little something about at least creating creating some rationality even in something as organic as a shoe. All right. And then going a step further, you know, if you did have some strap or something, right? You see I'm I'm trying to use this line to my advantage. It might even be a curve, right? Even this I could argue is relational. Okay, so when you when you can put some thought into how and where you put things i think it just makes for that much more compelling of a design in fact if that wasn't going to stretch and you needed to have a strap of some sort you could do that here so that it passes through so again it just it just all relates but i'm going to keep i'm going to keep it very simple and graphic because and by graphic i mean having some some lines or details that essentially define the shape as we go. You kind of think of it that way. Am I peeking on my audio? I think I am, because when I check the YouTube, this should be better. I was speaking pretty loudly the other day and it felt like it was peaking, so I've moved the mic back from myself quite a bit. 
In fact, normally the mic's in frame. Now we have Mando right there. You guys can't see him. Mando right there. That's a commission I'm working on for a friend of mine, actually. So once I'm done here, I'm going to break out some actual paint. Some stuff. We're going to get it done. All right, so now I got to pick colors. What colors would you like your shoe to be? Mossy. Marzi. Okay, let's hide this layer. All right, in the meantime, while I wait for a response, I'll just touch up over here. That's actually kind of cool, too, like... If the platform shoe had like chunky layers to it or something, it's kind of cool. Hot pink, okay. For the soul or for the like what's what's pink actually here's what i'll do i'll label this i think i might need a new apple pencil guys okay let's label this so part one here what color is that gonna be two uh and then three maybe four that could be a different color too Oh, you can't see my pet. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Pardon me. I'll tell you what. I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. Let me know what colors you're thinking of. What speaks to your soul? As long as it has hot pink. Okay, cool. Hi, I'm back, everyone. All the facial expressions an artist needs. All right. Seriously, this is annoying. Something's up with my either my iPad or my screen. Maybe I just need to re restart it or something. My bad. All right. What constitutes hot? You know what? I'm just going to go for it. Marzi does not seem picky, so I'm just going to go for it. Patent leather. Hot pink patent leather and a light gray sole with a yellow tongue, perhaps, or a white tongue. Hot pink's interesting. I, I like hot pink fuchsia and... Well, not really fuchsia, but hot pink. I like that and, um, what do you call them? Oh, what speaks to your soul. <laughs> I didn't intend that. <laughs> it totally just worked out that way. I literally did not intend that. Are you guys procrastinators? I'm a procrastinator. I'm absolutely a procrastinator. Sometimes I just like wait forever forever ever never ever oh interesting sometimes ipads have issues depending on the voltage it's charging now this is plugged into i think it's a 100 watt charger it's it's substantial it's beefy oh 
All right, so we got the pink. It might be my Apple Pencil because it's been having issues in other apps as well. All right, so we got the pink and we're going to do some sort of patent leather look here. I need a sharper brush. So I'm going to jump to this inker brush. It's a, it's a taper brush that has a very crisp edge to it. Okay. Alright. So now I need to fade this out a little bit. Just like so on the pink itself. I mean, if I wanted to be able to change the color of the shoe, I should use a gray or a black. What kind of issues are the iPad is the iPad having? Well, it um let's see, let's use a soft airbrush. It appears to actually let's use my so yeah. It was either five or six, but it was stupid. That was before the iPads let you like magnetically attach the pencil, the iPad. It was dumb. It was just straight dumb. Oh, the subscription service iPad. Uh, oh, <laughs> I don't have any of those. I get what you're saying. I don't have any of those. I just read free news sites the story of conservation where they like pitch ads to you and stuff. Those are the ones I read. From a puff of smoke. All right, so ah, I can't believe I did that. It's like the perfect. Not the perfect, but it was pretty. It was pretty good. I'm trying to make uh, some reflections here in this patent leather. Patent leather situation. Situation. What time is it? Should I end after this? I am kind of getting tired. <laughs> but who knows? Maybe 300 people will show up in the next 10 minutes. Not likely, but. All right, I think color burnt. No, multiply is gonna be it. Should I do multiply? For real, this time. So sketch a day. Thanks for hanging, you faithful few. Real ones, scoundrels. Maybe not scoundrels, but yeah, something's up with. Where maybe I just need a new pencil tip, which I have no idea where my pencil tip is. So, what's up, Mariah? Ah, <laughs> welcome, long time. All right, so the bottom here, new layer. This is a great idea. I like the platform shoes. They're just different. Funky and chunky.
Hello, Vicari. On the YouTube. Again, if you are watching Instagram, um, the stream will not be saved on Instagram, so thanks for watching. Number two, if you want to interact, make requests, that kind of thing, be sure to join on YouTube. That's where I'm watching the chat for the most part. Unless someone special drops in, I'll be like, okay. What's up, Scott Robertson? He's not there, but he has in the past popped in to say, what's up? Where did that line come from? Be gone. Filthy line. Seriously. That's the other thing I kind of hate about Procreate is the stray lines you get sometimes, but I could be one of those people with the drawing gloves, but I, I, I don't feel like I'm drawing glove guy. Do you know what I mean? Drawing glove guy. I don't feel like I'm drawing glove guy, so I haven't, I haven't ever been willing to go there. Some people are drawing glove people and that's okay. But, uh, I feel like that's not me. It would be like betraying who I am at my core. To be drawing glove person. All right, let's do, so I do have two brush kits. There's one and two, and I didn't want to combine them because it, it would just be a nightmare. Hey, I got brush pack one, and then I saw you combine these. Uh. So I, I, I decided to keep them separate, which, see, I keep tapping on this icon and it's not popping up. Um, but yeah, that was just a logistical decision for the most part for me. Christmas snow hat with a fluffy ball. Yeah, it is. It is. It's, uh... The roots, do you guys know who the roots are? The roots? The, wait. The roots, there we go. I always get mixed up on camera because it's like, you are drawing glove guy lines. Okay, now I know. I'll have to reconsider my relationship with you. Just kidding. <laughs> no, I just, I just never got into drawing gloves. It's the glove, um, for those wondering, it's the glove where, like, actually, I think I bought this stylus. I bought a stylus and it came with a drawing glove, but I think I left it upstairs. Um, I thought I had it down here, I could show you, but it's the gloves that have, like, covering for your fingers and your palm. So, yeah, anyhow. I never could. Oh, no, I do have it. It's right here. It's right here. Should I be drawing glove guy today? This is going to feel so freaking weird. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, guys, I am now now drawing glove guy. Right here. For the first time, you've seen it live. <laughs> just... Ah! I feel, no, I can't. I just can't. I cannot. I have to take it off. I, I, I can't. Mm -mm. So, free drawing glove if anyone wants it. Don't I use a physical iPad set? No. <clears throat> I do not. I did, um, there was one stand that I saw that I liked, um, it was when I, I went to Adobe to do some work with them, and they had this physical stand that I thought was kind of cool, but for the most part, no, I don't, I haven't had a stand where I'm like, yeah, this is it, I like it. If you have a recommendation, though, then feel free to let me know. Okay, maybe I should do another sketch. I did say I wanted to do some fresco as well. Let's 
so maybe I will. All right, I need some texture. I think I'm gonna use, so this is my friend Roshan Hakim gave me some of his brushes. You can check his out too. Does he have, no, I don't have his, he has like a hatching brush. I wish I had it right now. Oh well, oh well, I'll make it work. So I'll go ahead and texture my midsole here with the banana speckler. True story, this brush was actually sampled from a real banana. A real bona fide banana. The banana speckler. Created and crafted for your delicious consumption. Then I'll just drop the opacity down because I don't want the speckle to be like the texture, but more so just like, oh, cool. There's, there's some materiality there. There's, there's a little something, something. How did you find your balance between flow and precision? Mm, I mean, simple answer is just practice. But finding your style is a tricky one. Absolutely. Um, in some ways, I think you start by maybe copying other people, and that's okay. Why is that being weird? So in some ways, you may start by copying someone. You know, hey, I really like this aspect of their sketch or whatever. And then eventually you you might realize that the way you apply lines, even though you're copying that person, is your own way. And I think when you realize that, um, it's like you're unlocking the source code to your sketch. <laughs> you can just do whatever you want. Um, so how do you find the balance? I think, like I said, it's just practice. I do talk about this idea. Oh, I did I did say I was gonna show you and I didn't show you this. Um, so it actually, hmm, I do talk about it in my inking guide. Hold on just a sec. You guys on Instagram are gonna totally miss this. So I'm working on a guide here. Working on a guide for uh, pen and ink. So this is a little bit of a preview. I talk about different types of lines, how to hold your pen, how to warm up, different types of sketches, line quality. Ah, here it is, loose versus sloppy. So I do talk a little bit about getting loose, right? As you sketch, and I'm gonna be expanding this a bit. So this is kind of a precursor to getting my full book done. Uh, Patrons, channel members will be getting this guide for free, of course, as always, and more guides to come. So, did I switch? No, I didn't switch. Ah, I was in the wrong mode. Okay, let's do that again. Here's, here's that guide. Okay, so talk about light and shadow. I know there were some questions about that today. Um, texture, speed of your lines, how does that affect things? Um, line weight loose versus sloppy um, so I think that's kind of what you're talking about loose I guess I should add tight loose sloppy tight right so maybe I'll add that um, as a clarifier but uh, in fact I'll just do that right now and then yeah so this will be this will be all part of the guide there's there's gonna be demos examples um, of just different sketches, the importance of observational drawing, some instruction, all sorts of good stuff. So I know I'm scrolling through fast. Cause I don't want to give it all away. I can't give it all away, man. Like that wouldn't be cool on my part, but yes, that is coming soon. 
to a sketch -a day near you, sketchaday.com near you. Have I seen the music less videos by Mario? I have not. I have not. Was the audio missing from that? I thought I fixed that yesterday. It should have been working. It should have been working. So yeah, once again, if you have questions and you're watching on Instagram, I'm not looking at the screen. You'll have to head over to sketchaday.com or not sketchaday.com, youtube.com slash sketchaday.com. It's where we're hanging. All right, let's take uh, let's take this real marker brush and I'm just gonna add a little highlight here to the edge. Just a little, little highlight thing, little highlight thing. So now it doesn't feel as flat. Think about your light source, where your light source is. This line is almost so thick that it feels like a material thing, but it's fine. I like I like that it's a strong line, so I'm going to leave it. Normally, I would probably erase to a lighter line and then have the light do most of the work, but I'm just going to leave it be right there. All right, so there's going to be some reflected light happening right there as well. So let's jump to this air highlighter. I'll just kind of hit this spot right there. Hit it with a little sauce. Hit that with a little ooh, sauce. See, I like tap the screen like three times. Uh, something, something's wrong with Procreate, my iPad, or this pencil. So I got to figure that out. Figure out what's happening. What's happening? Hey, everybody. <laughs> All right. So for the mesh, I think what I'll do here is let's go to black. I do have a mesh brush. Is that too big? That is too big. Yeah, it feels better. So now, maybe just a, maybe just a touch bigger. But I already painted that area in gray, so I can actually tap, hit select, make a new layer, and just kind of paint this in over. Like so. All right, if I just want that just a generic mesh mesh texture placeholder, I guess. Do a little deselect. And then now, two finger tap and I can reduce the opacity. So if I just want a little texture in there, I don't want it to be, you know, the texture, just a texture. Can do that. Let's see, back to the marker and I'll just shade in this little spot here. But if it's hit with a little sauce, wouldn't that stain the fabric? Well, it is protected, Mecca. It's protected. We uh, Have you seen those uh, ads for those shoe protectors? What you didn't realize is Marzi is fastidious and particular. I've got a particular set of skills. <laughs> have you guys seen uh, that one Liam Neeson movie? Anyhow. Um, very particular, so a coating was applied, and these shoes will resist. 
they will resist a stain a stain Trying to think now, shadow, it is in perspective, so we've got to do a little perspective shadow there. And let's clean up. And, I mean, there's, there's all sorts of little things we could do, like, A little bit of a little bit of reflected light. Just a wee bit. A wee bit. Uh is it one of those skills going? <laughs> yes, absolutely. At least I don't know, maybe. But I think the I think the fabric protector would take care of it though. That's my guess anyways. Maybe I'm wrong. All right. So there is our platform shoe sketch and like kind of like I always do, I'm going to just throw some light gray on these other concepts. to help with the form. Something like that. All right, so there is our patent leather shoe. I really should probably wrap up the stream, but I kind of want to play around with fresco as well. All right, so we did our shoe. We did some coffee or espresso machines, I should say. It was our first sketch, talked about some design stuff, and then actually what I should do instead of opening the files. I do like this about Procreate, the preview. Talked about this idea of leveling up in your skills. Yeah, the app feels like it's not working, like I'm touching the gallery button and it's not doing anything. So I wonder if it's my iPad. Maybe it is, maybe it is bent. Something. does not seem bent I mean it is Apple so oops upside down iPad it is Apple so maybe uh, it's intentionally maybe it's intentionally dying yeah I won't give it all away Latrice no worries but you guys you'll get it for free get it for free on all the other guides I don't know who you are but I have a particular set of skills one of them might be cleaning my own clothes <laughs> yes all right so we did the espresso talked about skills time and we did <clears throat> this platform hot pink shoe with a stretchy sock liner and a patent leather out, out, outer, upper, upper, yeah. <clears throat> All right, so thanks for the ideas. Let us go to Fresco. So this is Adobe Fresco. I was using this the other day. I mean, I could finish this robot painting I was working on the other day. That might take a little bit of time, but um, I could do a quick car. Cars are always fun. But I'll just start with the tabloid. Um, again, I do appreciate that the layers aren't limited it's pretty it's pretty fast this is adobe fresco all right what ideas do you guys have product I, I, i'd like to sketch products if possible seems like we have a more focused audience today so you let me know what would you like to see what product you youtubers I 
I just messaged <laughs> Mo Army posted in the Discord. I'm like, you're not here. I'm streaming. What's going on? So I did get the M1 MacBook Pro. Um, I think I mentioned that to you guys. This bad boy. Where is it? Right there. And at first I thought it was faster than my 2013 Mac Pro. But I ran another test. Granted, I was running it through um, emulation. I was running, I was running a Premiere through emulation. <laughs> the seat always wants to see something besides a watch. Um, I was running through emulation and it took four hours, three hours to compress this video. For those who know about video, um, using a variable bit, bit rate and two pass in, uh, encoding. And then I ran it on my Mac Pro and it took like 50 minutes. I was like, okay, maybe it's not faster than my Mac Pro, and that's okay. Maybe. Maybe. Broken arm, that stinks. All right, since you guys aren't letting me know, I'm gonna do a car, but I, I've been wanting to try this different style. All right, Jameson popped in, hand vacuum. Like a, a Dyson style. I mean, this might feel like that Santa sleigh that I did the other day. I think it was, it was Andrew was like, looks like a futuristic hand vacuum. How do these even look? I'm trying to remember. Is that like a handle? Got a handle sitch, handle situation, situation. Some sort of handles, handle sitch. And then, this could do another cylinder. We're doing it kind of, I feel like everyone's knocking off Dyson, but I'm not gonna design a new. I'm not going to design a new hand vacuum, just kind of sketch one. But overall perspective, right? <laughs> Trying to create that that taper in the sketch. So let's go ahead and scale this down. People have been shaming me for my ellipses lately, so I'm just going to make sure I'm actually acting like I care. So many reminders. It's not the most elegant transition here, I'm just saying. Not the most elegant transition, but... Here we go. So we got the battery here, handle of some sort. I guess everything sucks up above. Is that how these work? Is that how you kids are doing it these days? All right, if you're looking for something crazy and weird to watch, but very entertaining, Search on YouTube for old Greg. I'm old Greg. Some of you may know about old Greg, some of you do not. But that's okay. Old Greg is a special creature. now let's erase a little bit so this is just going from memory i'm not looking at any reference just trying to do something dyson-esque people will say you copied the dyson and i'll say yeah 
So what? All right. I feel as though, hmm, let me think about this. Do I want to do <laughs> lines? <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh wow. Wow. You've you've sufficiently shamed me into just kidding, I'm just doing an overlay. Smaller, aka sharper pencil, a little bit more upright. If you guys don't get the joke, the other day I did a Santa sleigh and someone was like that looks like a vacuum You checked out old Greg yeah, I'm old Greg See the funk is a living creature about the size of a medicine ball Anyhow, so the other day I was doing the Santa thing and this Andrew, I think it was, was on the stream. He was like, it's a nice vacuum. It's like, what? And a savage. So I think that's what Lions was referring to. I think. So this is just the default pencil in Fresco. I got lazy and didn't want to use my own pencil today. But I do have more of a, it's a little crisper design pencil, I guess you could say. I need to adjust the pressure sensitivity on it, but I could use that as well. This is more like your, what I consider to be more of your traditional lead pencil. Ridian, that's such a cool name. R-H-Y-D-I-A-N, Ridian, such a cool name. Oh, I had a good workout today. I'm sore. All right, center line. I always find that helpful with my ellipses anyways. So yeah, Fresco does not have ellipse tools to help you. So you kind of have to, I hate to break it to you, but you just got to be good at sketching ellipses, period, period. Otherwise, the internet will savage you and say, you stink. Perfect. Perfect. So yeah, some sort of hand vacuum. And I'm trying to debate, actually I could do watercolor. That would be an interesting product sketch style. I've seen some designers do it. Let's have some fun.
All right, let's keep going here. So to do this little detail, I need a secondary ellipse to kind of guide guide where I put these starts and stops. This actually needs to rotate slightly, so let me fix that. This this ellipse is fine, um, but I've got this weird transition. Oops, I've got this weird transition here. So I just want to make sure. I'm not messing up too much. The cozy corner. Hello, thank you. Which do I enjoy more, digital with good old pen and paper, or or digital or good old pen? I'm I'm definitely getting delirious. Or good old pen and paper. Um, I much prefer. It really just depends. I've been getting into digital painting lately, so the flavor of the moment is digital. But I do I do like how sharp you can get sketching with pen and paper. By sharp I mean just confident Expressive. Yeah. So for those who don't know, we do have a Discord. Check out the link in the description. You can join. It's not just if you like product design either. It's hey, if you like photography and you want to hang out and share some stuff, you can do that. I mean, I'll always be drawing on the streams, obviously. <laughs> but if you care to or want to, you can join there. Had a request for a hand vacuum, that's what I'm doing now. So this is where Santa puts his presents. Just kidding. It's not true. All right, so there's there's my somewhat cleaned up sketch. I, I still see some issues here. I'll try and clean that up a bit back here. So I'm gonna make a new layer. These ellipses are out of control. And then I'll do a watercolor wash and show you, um, show you a little technique or perhaps an approach here. Co Cozy Corner says I'm a color person. I thought at first I thought you meant person of color, and I was like, oh, okay, cool. Me too. But I see what you mean. Um, yeah, grays can be tedious. I, I okay, let me just get this lips. There we go. Um, grays can be tedious. Like I feel like there we go. 
so I get that. This handle feels small as well, so how about we just make a cut? We'll cut across here, and then I'm just gonna move this down, like so. So it feels more appropriate, and then I can just modify the design. Maybe erase a bit here, and then I'll just figure out a way to combine these. So bring this line down. Or we could even have these lines match up. Do something like that. I don't know, man. All right, person who asked for a hand vacuum, here we go. Let's let's go, let's do it. I forgot who asked, so. Yeah, so the way I'm going to tackle this is just by using a wash, All right? So since I'm using a wash, I can shade in a little bit, not worry too much. At least I think so. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll regret doing this. We'll see very quickly. At the very least, you can kind of see how adding a core shadow, secondary shadow if necessary, can help your forms just pop. And so now on a new layer, I'm gonna use what's called a live brush. So let's go back to watercolor. I'm gonna use the watercolor wet a watercolor wash, wash. Where I live, some people say wash. It's really weird. Is there a rule for how much color? Uh, not specifically. Your back looks sore. So yeah, I can do this like watercolor wash thing. And maybe it's, should I do it like that? Let's see. I'm trying to think how I want to do this. This is like old school sketch style. Where you do like a wash. What's up, 12 a.m. design? I normally don't say hi on Instagram. You freeloaders, but hello, you're awesome. <laughs> Yeah, there's no no hard and fast rule but all right so now i'm going to use my own brush here so i have my sketch day brushes i'm going to use should i use the contour marker this one's a little bit weird it's kind of fun it's a marker that follows a contour so i can use that on a multiply layer here
That's why I was like, maybe I shouldn't do the pencil, but I already did it, so it's fine. It's fine. It's all fine. All right, so on top of the wash, though, let's go ahead and block in some solid grays. Uh, should I use a basic marker? Yeah, that works. So again, this is one of my brushes, the basic marker brush. So let's say I had actually continued that part line over because I didn't. I'm gonna block this in. And maybe this part here. I think I will do the attachment as well in the gray. So yeah, that works. And I can do white on top and help it pop a bit. Maybe on a new layer. So yeah, a little bit of a little bit of wash never hurt anyone. Wash. Did I explain that? So where I live, people say people pronounce W A S H like wash sometimes. It's really weird. I shouldn't say weird. It's uh, it's certainly different. It is different. Say that. I don't really have a texture for this, so I'm just going to go for it. But you could. I wonder if I could. I don't know how to do it. You can make brushes in fresco as well. You can like sample. I think it's. Uh... Yeah, you can like sample. And then yeah I'm I'm gonna mess this up so let's not let's not do this oh yeah so you can like sample a portion of a drawing so if I wanted to sample that and then now go to the brush I think it's like If I had this hard round brush and then back to here, sample, back to the brush. Is that how it is? Then I can play with like spacing, I think. I don't remember. I'll have to play with it, but you can basically make your own brush in Fresco. I just need to spend more time, but you can kind of see if I really wanted to take the time, I could make a little pattern and use that. Should we try and do that? <laughs> My head's getting really hot right now. But in the time I did that, it would be, I would probably just be fine using the regular pencil. So I need to spend some more time with the this is a multicolored ink dropper, it's called. Or eye drop eye drop tool. So I'm gonna go back to my brush here. Let's reset that brush. And then back to my pencil. Oh no, it was the marker is what I was using. Ooh, I have a I have an idea. Hmm. 
Sorry, I need to send an idea to the product team here. All right, cool. <laughs> um, so let's go back to my brushes. I think it was the basic marker, yeah. I'll just finish out the pattern. But if you had the time and you were working on like a repeating pattern, it's kind of handy. But I'm just going to do this real quick. It's not a big deal. And this is Adobe Fresco. Something like that. All right, so now when we zoom out, that's what we have. Yeah, this ellipse spot right here is kind of bugging me. Let's see what we can do. Maybe just even ghost in a little bit. So yeah, this is pretty loose, but it's fine. It is what it is. Um, I don't have the same banana speckle in here, but I do have, where are you? Where did you go? Where did you, where did you go? My lovely. Um, yeah, I do have this little texturizer brush. Just gonna add a little pixel spray. Just a little pixel spray, happy, happy little spray of pixels. Happy little spray. All right, and then one more layer and let's do some highlight stuff. I mean, if you wanna take time and put highlights on every edge, we could do that, but I don't feel like that today. I say I don't feel like that today as I sit here and do this, right? You know me. Like, yeah, I don't feel like doing this. And then next thing you know, it's done. But just some highlights on edges, part lines if, if needed. It really depends on the level of the, the level of finish you're trying to achieve on a sketch. All depends. Thank you for seat. Take care. Yes, iPads are fun to sketch on. For show. Sure. So a little bit of a uh, little bit of back to the roots today on the show. Hope you enjoyed. Lots of product sketching. I welcome during di doing different things. However, sometimes it's good to get back to it. Thank you so much for hanging, being a part of today's experience. We'll do a quick recap. If you missed part of it and you want to catch it, I'll be chaptering this out as well. All right, that just means that I'll make it easy for you on YouTube. I'll go through the video. All right, 
I'll go through the video and I'll add timestamps to everything. So you know where to go to watch said vacuum cleaner or whatever. Aight. That was interesting. Okay. <laughs> Wrong color. Wrong color moment there. Oh, I didn't do the bristles. Sorry, guys. Let's do that real quick. So I do want to show you something cool in just a sec. Uh, let's see. File open on my computer. Let's see if it's popped up yet. Yeah. All right, so let's do some quick, quick brist, bristles. So part of the conversation where I was having with uh, Lions this morning was, you know, what, like I said, what is, what is art and does this count as art? Well, it's, it's, it's almost like product art, but it serves a purpose, not, not to necessarily um, insight, I think, critical thought of or just even existing I don't know it's it's a tough one so if you guys want to participate in that discussion it's on the discord sketchday.com slash discords where you want to go you can join that um, I think that was in the off topic forum I believe so we have a little section off topic it's kind of anything goes though so beware beware be wary all right, so there is a vacuum, vacuum, vacuum sketch there in Adobe Fresco. So I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna go back out to my main area and I wanna show you something cool that this will actually sync to my desktop in just a sec. So for now, quick review. In Procreate, we did, uh, did these cool platform shoes pretty sweet thanks for the suggestion that was from marzi and then we also did <laughs> we also did uh talk about this idea of skill and time and practice and how that works and then this page of espresso machines how to lay out a page composition all that good stuff i hope this works here i here i am trying to show off to you and and the cloud is taking a minute to sync i'll still show you anyways but what happens with photoshop on your desktop now is that this little spot right here this is the file it's probably not going to load up right yeah so it's not showing me the layers now when i close it hopefully it doesn't cause a conflict here sometimes you get a little conflict in the files but this should sync it should sync to my oh wait you didn't even see it <laughs> let's try that one more time let's try it again yeah it's not synced yet i don't know if you i don't know if you were watching news but the internet was having some some troubles last night ah there we go so now it's up so I suspect there was probably probably something happening. So on my desktop now, I have this file so I can actually open it up if I want. So that's pretty cool. You know, I don't have to worry about, um, you know, the file being backed up. So and it kind of gives you a little bit of peace of mind there. So, all right. 
So there you go, guys. How long was that? On? Two hours and twenty. Minutes. That's a long time. Woo! It's a long time, but I will chapter it out for you. I'm gonna rest and recover after the stream. Thanks again for watching, for hanging out, uh, for being here. Special thanks to patrons, channel members, humans, all alike, but patrons and channel members specifically for contributing time and resources to what we're doing here. Much appreciated. As I always say, if you learn something, definitely share that with someone. It's only gonna help you in the end. So whatever you've learned, take a minute, sit with someone, share it with them. When you teach, you actually forces you to understand your process and explain it to someone else. Pretty powerful concept, so try that. Um, if you are interested in contributing to Sketch Today, check out patreon.com slash sketch today. We have a little channel in the, in the Discord as well for patrons and channel members. If you have not received your badge or sticker, let me know. Um, or you can become a YouTube channel member. Just hit the join now button. It's a pretty easy way to do it and pitch in and contribute. What does that mean? It's just a monthly contribu contribution <laughs> to what I'm doing here, okay? Thanks again, much love. I'll be back tomorrow at some point, probably in the morning, um, earlier, like a few hours earlier than today. So with that, take care, peace and love. Passion is the process and I'll catch you next time.